Download our free guide, Starting Your Photo Business, at photoshelter.com slash mkt slash research. Okay, hey, it's Grover uh, from Photo Shelter. You're not looking at, at me, though. You're looking at John Harrington. He is hey, a God. freelance photographer based in Washington, D.C., and he's currently the president of the White House News Photographer Association. He is an expert in the business of photography, so much so that he wrote a book, The Best Business Practices for Photographers, which is currently in its second edition. Buy it at Amazon. Um, make him a rich man. Uh, so, John, we're, I'm asking you a series of questions, and um, w- this one here uh, is about day rates um, and, uh, and what kinds of factors should photographers consider when trying to establish a fair day rate? Well, if I could reach to the screen, I would throttle you right now because you can't use the word day rate. You never need to use the word day rate in communicating with your clients, period, the end. <laughs> okay, don't do it. Because here's the problem. If it takes you eight hours to do a picture because you're just starting out as a photographer, then your quote unquote day rate is $500, okay? It, if all of a sudden you get 10 years of experience and it no longer takes you eight hours to do the picture, it takes you 30 seconds or 30 minutes, how much of a fraction of that $500 are you gonna get paid? You never, there's only there's really one or two environments where you would ever use the concept of day rate, but then even then you don't want to ever communicate that language with your client because the more the more experience you get, the less you get paid in the concept and the model of a day rate. So you know if you're you so you if you're someone who is billing by the hour, it should be because you're doing like event coverage, like a, an all day conference at a hotel or you're doing a a press conference and you're charging your minimum charge. In an instance like that, um, you definitely are charging by the hour with a minimum, but that's because your your event or your activity is going on for X number of hours. Um, When you're talking about, you know, a magazine cover, you're talking about a portrait for the inside of the magazine, you're talking about, you know, something for the annual report, you always, in the course of your conversation with the client, want to, um, figure out what they want. And so if they say, oh, we need three or four pictures, you know, okay, great. I always in my contracts will write up to four pictures. And, you know, you need to think about if they are, you know, how complicated are these pictures? Can you do three or four in a day or can you do just one? This the silly example is if you get a phone call, say, from a hospital and you need to do pictures in the hospital or, you know, for this hospital client, are all the pictures going to take place in one wing of the hospital? That way you can move from room to room, or is it in three different wings all over the hospital on multiple floors where you're going to have to consistently break up and set down your equipment? If that's the case, then you can't do as many pictures in a day as you could if it was all in one wing of the hospital. So the key thing to do is determine what the client needs. In your head, you might use the word day rate. Gosh, I'd really like to have 1500 or 18 or 2000 for annual report work. But you never use that language with your clients. You always say up to X number of shots because what will happen is if you are if you say my day rate is $1,000 and they've told you they need to do three or four pictures and you're being really efficient and you know taking two hours a picture for four pictures and all of a sudden you've been efficient through the day and you have an extra hour left at the end of the day, that client's going to go, oh, well, I've got you for an extra hour. Let's do another shot. And all of a sudden – you know, you're going to have to rush and your quality of that final picture on that last one isn't going to work as it isn't, isn't going to be as good as the other ones because you had to rush. But the client has you for a day, you know, and do you define a day as eight hours or 10 hours? Is it eight hours on set and 10 hours door to door? Who knows? So by defining it by the number of shots you're doing, you really do set up a scenario where, uh, the client is going to get what they need and then not try to get more out of you and not pay you more. This is excellent advice. I really appreciate um, this info. And uh, I'll never use the word day rate again. Don't, because I will <laughs> fool you. 